This is the practice test for uh, Microsoft Word 2016 and I have the instructions file open here and I also have the uh, raw data file open in another window and we're going to be flipping back and forth. So first thing we're supposed to do is save it to our desktop uh, tacking our first and last name onto the end of it and so here is the declaration file and we're going to go and we're going to do a save as and we're going to save it we're going to browse here and we're going to find our desktop and all we have to do is just tack our name on and click on save and we're good okay so that takes care of this one i'm just going to cross them out as i do them here set the margins to one inch on all four sides and we'll do a couple here and the font name to times new roman and the line spacing to 1.15 so let's skip over here and we want the margins to be one inch all the way around that's what they call normal uh, we want um, to select the whole thing here i'm going to do a control a to select the whole thing and then we're going to set the uh, font to Times New Roman. If yours isn't recently used, you'll have to scroll down a ways to find it. And we're going to set the line spacing here to 1.15. So it's just a little bit more than single spacing and it's a little bit easier to read, not quite as cluttered. Okay. So we've set the margins, the font name, and the line spacing so we can cross those out. And we want left alignment and 12 points and move the pink paragraphs to the top. So the whole thing is still selected here, so I'm going to change the alignment. You can also do a control L. And we're going to move, go to the end of the document here and take the pink text and we're going to cut it out. You can either go up here and cut or you can do a control X. And then we're going to go to the top of the document and you can do a control home to get there uh, and we're going to paste it in so i'm going to do a control v here keyboard shortcut and um, you could also just go over here and click on paste and uh, the other thing we were supposed to do was we were supposed to set the whole document to 12 points right now it's 10 so i'm going to do a control a again to select the whole document and then we're going to go to our font size here and we're going to set the font size to 12. So let's flip back over here. So we set the alignment, we set the font size, and we move the pink stuff up to the top. And we're going to divide the document into two sections. Section 2 should begin immediately out to the left of the word begin, where it says begin section 2 here. So um, let's go and uh, do a find command. You can also do control F here. And what we're looking for is begin and there's only one result so we didn't have to go any further than that i'm going to close close the navigation window here and shouldn't have done that um, let's go back here and find it again and i got to click in my document okay and now close it and right to the left of that we want a section break and that is on the layout tab up here under breaks and i think it said uh our next page section break so i'm going to click right there and let's flip back over and it said um, yes next page so we finished that so let's cross it off okay now the following sections apply to section one instructions apply to section one only i'm going to add a cover page and delete the, the subtitle email address and abstract and change the author name to your name put today's date so that's all related to the fa uh, the cover page. So we're going to do facet and add our name and the date and delete stuff we don't need. So um, it doesn't really matter where you are here. By the way, I'm going to turn on the show hide button here so I can see the section break and all the paragraph marks and everything else. You don't have to be at the top of the document. Um, doesn't because it knows it's smart enough to know that. A cover page is going to go at the top of the document and that is on our design tab here I'm sorry it's on our insert tab over here and uh, under cover page we want uh, the facet style so we want this one right here and we want to change the name uh, I think it said get rid of the subtitle so just uh, click on it and hit delete uh, get rid of the abstract 
and actually you want to click on this little these little three dots up here and that'll completely get rid of it and that doesn't have the three dots we're just going to have to hit delete and we're supposed to get rid of the email address right here and uh, this is interesting um, for some reason where's the bottom of my page here uh, oh here it is and I must have this set to hide the white space so I'm gonna get my two headed arrow here and double click and okay now I can see the page border so it really is down here so you want to change this to your name just drag the mouse over it and type your name uh, we did the facet style we deleted some of those extra uh, fields that we don't need and what else were we supposed to do I'll oh, put today's date below your name okay so we're gonna go down here and um, actually I'm just gonna hit enter and it's not gonna let me hit enter there um, so we will um, insert Uh, I think we have to insert a text box here. Let's go and do a text box and we'll just draw one and we'll put a little text box down here below our name. And what I want to put in there is today's date. And I think I can go to um, insert and let me see. okay here it is and I'm just gonna take the top one here and we want it to be updated automatically click on OK and we got nothing there let's try that again um, there we go um, and I'm not sure I thought I had the cursor there so I don't know if the date is going to show up someplace else in my document here or not um, so that will automatically update um, if you open it tomorrow, it'll be tomorrow's date. Okay, so let's now go back to our instructions here, and we did the facet. Uh, we deleted those things. We put the date and our name in, and let's just cross those out. And we want the first line indent for all the paragraphs in section one to be a quarter of an inch. We want the spacing before six to be six points. Okay, so quarter inch. So let's select all of this stuff here. So we get down to the end of section one and we want the first line indent to be a quarter of an inch the easy way to do it is just take your mouse here and drag this in a quarter of an inch and uh, the other thing one was uh, was a spacing before or spacing after uh, spacing before six points so I've got all the paragraphs selected and uh, this is on the layout tab and so spacing before this goes in six point increments so I just click on it once and we'll get six points okay um, now let's go back um, so we've done these two and let's cross those out and make paragraphs three four and five okay into a bulleted list so uh, let's go up to the top here in paragraphs um, three so there's paragraph one there's paragraph two and three four and five would be these three paragraphs right here and we're going to make them into a bulleted list that's in the paragraph group on the home tab here so um, there we go we've got a bulleted list and set the line spacing for paragraph one to double spacing so here is paragraph one and we can do line spacing up here or we can also just do a control two and that will double space that paragraph okay uh, add a drop cap to paragraph one and choose the drop style so let's you don't you can be any place in the paragraph you don't have to be right at the beginning it's going to do it knows that the w is the one that you want to have a drop cap and i think that's on the design tab here and it is not on the design tab it must be on the layout uh, no, it's on the insert tab. Um, so I want a drop cap. Yours may say drop cap, uh, and we want the drop style. And uh, it inherits the first line indent, so it ends up kind of pushing it over a quarter of an inch. So the way to fix that is just go up here and drag that back over. And um, let me see if we can shrink this up a little bit and still keep the drop cap. Um, I'm trying to get that line there we go to slide over okay and so now we've got our drop cap 
and we've got our bulleted list and uh, our line spacing so we can take these three and we can cross them out. Now we want uh, the margins to be increased for paragraph two by half an inch. So if the margins are bigger, the text is going to be narrower. So um, margins are a paragraph command. So you, all you have to do is be in the paragraph. And so I'm in paragraph two and I'm going to increase this by half an inch. And if you drag the little basement of the house there, it drags both that and the first line indent. And then I'm at six and a half here. So if I indent that by half an inch, it's going to be at the six inch mark right there. Okay, so we can cross that out. And uh, we want to set the alignment for paragraph two to justify. And that is on the home tab. And uh, you can also do a control J for a keyboard shortcut. Okay, let's flip back over here and uh, we want to set the, okay, so we set the alignment so we can cross that off and uh, add your name to the right part of the header and put page numbers in the center of the footer. So let's go back over here and the easy way to get up in the header is just double click up here and we've got a tab stop over here. So if we hit tab twice uh, before we type in our name. And I think it said 10 point per Dana. So let's go here and uh, for Dana and let's set the size to 10. And then we want to, um, by the way, make sure you don't do that on the cover page. Uh, and then we go down to the footer and tab over and we want to go to our header and footer tools here and tell it that we want to input uh, or insert a page number at the current position. We're just going to do the simple number. And we can close the header and footer tools. And let's go back over here. And we have done those two. Okay, we want to change all nine occurrences of the word GOVT to government. So that's going to be a find and replace. So uh, we want GOVT and we want GOVERNMENT. And we want to replace all. It should come back and tell us that there were nine. And it does. And we can close that. And we can cross that one off our list. I want to add a citation to the end of the last uh, the last line of the first paragraph. And so let's go here and actually let's uh, stop there and we'll finish up with another video.